this... This isn't going to take long, right? I've, uh, got a date, okay? No, I don't. That was a lie. That doesn't count as lying to an officer, does it? Does? Okay, I'll just get to business now. I'm really sorry, by the way. So, this all happened last month. What? It's just last Tuesday? It feels like so long ago. <laughs> Funny. Usually it feels like it just happened when it was actually a much earlier occurrence. Sorry, getting sidetracked. Anyway, I was just walking my little dog. Her name's Stella, by the way. She's quite cute. You're right, that's not relevant. So I was walking Stella, and all of a sudden I heard this damn dreadful noise. You know what a kookaburra sounds like? That rolling noise it makes? Yeah, so I heard something like that. It sounded more aggressive, I guess. Kind of like a high-pitched chainsaw. This noise greatly disturbed Stella, and she started whining like crazy. This seemed to have alerted whatever was making this noise, because it became deathly quiet. Well, aside from Stella's whines. We kept walking for a bit, and then we finally went home. That night I heard the terrible noise again. Every time it called, Stella would whine. I, I didn't dare look it up from my bed and fear the thing was nearby. After about 10 or 11 minutes, Stella was no longer whining. The creature was no longer crying either. I looked down at the edge of my bed to see that Stella was gone. I immediately panicked. I threw down my covers and left out of bed. I was down the stairs in less than a second and I raced through the hallway. I stopped dead in my tracks when I got to the kitchen. There sat Stella in some crouching shadow. Stella was on her back. It was dark, but it looked like her tongue was lolled out and her foot was thumping. The figure was obviously rubbing her belly. As I stood there, hand hovering over the light switch, that figure turned its head towards me. I I stood still, hoping that it you know couldn't see me. That was to no avail as it backed up, still in its crouching position, and began to make that odd, aggressive, throat-rolling noise. Stella turned toward me and made the most vicious-sounding growl a tiny little thing could make and leapt onto my leg. Now... My little Stella has never bitten me, not even a love bite, but that attack left me needing stitches. The creature fled through the window, but I left as soon as I could see something very disturbing about it. It was human. It seemed to be female. I couldn't get an age on her. I only saw the face for a second. Yes, it was clothes. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. Uh, it wouldn't be terrible if it... It would be terrible if it wasn't. I mean, she was sitting on my floor. Sorry, getting sidetracked again. All right, come on, yeah. Her clothes looked very dirty, I guess. I didn't get a good look at it, or she had very long hair. I know this because a lock of it got stuck in the kitchen window when she jumped out of it. Oh, um, I think it was dark brown, but it was really dirty. Anyway, so as soon as she left, Stella jumped to the kitchen sink and stared out the window she departed through. Once again, a very uncharacteristic move for her. She hates heights and can't even jump on the sofa. Once she realized that the creature had left, she went back to her normal self. She even licked the cut. No, I don't think she was in a trance. It looked like she was trying to protect the thing. I mean, girl. Yes, thank you. You ever seen a dog protect its favorite toy or even its friend? She was like that. Very territorial, but not in the property way. You know what I mean? Oh, and outside I saw weird prints. It was feet in front of his hands, as if the creature had its legs over its shoulders like one of those contortionists. The prints were on my driveway, and it looked like the creature, I, I mean, girl, was running. I also found some prints around the house, but none were as prominent as they were outside. Some even looked like she tried to clean them up. Now, I'm getting the reason you called me here. The Waltzons' bodies being found. I followed the tracks for what seemed like hours, and I finally saw something. I found what appeared to be bones. I also found cloth and hair. I, I didn't realize what I was seeing until I saw Jones, Mrs. Watson's necklace. I I found it lying as the carnage that she had become. It seems like a certain demon child. I'm, I'm sorry, girl was trying to hide the body underneath some newly fallen leaves. If it wasn't for the smell, I don't think I would have found them. Yes, plural. All three bodies were found in the same spot. Resistance? Well, I saw a lot of blood, but there was a lot of ripped cloth, so I have to say they weren't too thrilled about being slaughtered. Yeah, it did look like the girl had been feasting on them. Well, where else could their flesh have gone? I think she might have been after me the night that I found her in the kitchen. I know the Waltzons because they are my neighbors. They live four houses down. They're actually the only house on the street without a dog. Losers. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be disrespectful to the dead. Anyway, I saw, after I saw the bodies, I began to hear barking, and I saw Stella behind me. I know I didn't let her out, and we don't have dog doors. She looked angry. She was growling, just like the night before. I immediately ran towards home, and Stella chased me, but to my surprise, she didn't look angry anymore. She looked happy. I'm guessing because she got what she wanted, which was me getting away from the bodies. I went home and I immediately called 911. While I was explaining my mind to the operator, Stella was growling and ferociously scratching the back door. 
I, of course, went to check what was going on, and the... F oops. Please excuse my language. That girl was there. She was just crouching, one leg on her shoulder, the other by her side, kind of like a frog. As soon as she noticed me, she ran off. Uh, thanks to it being daytime, I was able to confirm that she did run with her legs on her shoulders. Um, I didn't really get to age her face, um, as I said before. By the time you guys showed up to investigate the body, she was long gone. Now, I, I haven't seen her, but I do hear the noise every night. I know she's still out there, though, maybe even in my house. Wait, do you hear that? Sorry. I, I guess I'm just paranoid. Are, are we done here? Okay, thank you. G goodbye.